Happy Saturday. How you doing? Hey, we're into, into the end of week three, and we're talking about the blessing, and we're all the way up to page 19. And we're going through the blessing book because I am determined to take your level of faith up for God's blessing because that will increase God's blessing in your life as well as mine. The reason I'm doing this and the reason I decided to do it was because I decided I wanted to take my faith for the blessing up a few levels. So I'm going to take you with me. We're all going to increase our faith for the blessing. And you watch as we go through this, you're going to notice the blessing gets stronger and stronger and will begin to accelerate in your life. And you will notice it by what God is bringing to you in the way of everything. Good health, finances, good relationships, good friends. Be blessed in every area of your life. The blessing doesn't just cover finances, folks. It's a lifestyle, a lifestyle of being blessed by God. When God's blessing is upon you, every area of your life is blessed. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I want to talk to you today about the blessing of Abraham on Jacob. Jacob was Abraham's grandson. He was the child of Isaac. And he was blessed. Isaac spoke the blessing over him in Genesis chapter 27. And give thee the fruit of heaven to you and the dew of heaven. And let your brothers be bowed down to you. And they all did. They all did. Be Lord over your brothers. He was the favorite. He was the one who received the blessing. Glory to God. And I'm telling you what, everything worked out in his life. Now, after Jacob and his mother, see, they got the blessing through deception. But after they got the blessing through deception, and, and they had the blessing of Abraham spoken over him by his father, he was sent to his uncle's house to stay until his brother cooled off and to find a wife. And Isaac told him, he says, you will not marry somebody uh, who is not of the blessing. When he set out on his journey, he had nothing with him except a peanut butter sandwich, a walking stick, and the blessing. When Isaac, when, when Jacob left home to go to his uncle's house to stay and to work there and to find a wife, he took nothing with him except probably a peanut butter sandwich because he had to have something to eat. He took some food with him of some kind, maybe not peanut butter. But I'm not sure about the peanut butter, but I do know that he would take a walking stick with him to protect himself. And he took the blessing. Once you're blessed, once this blessing is imparted upon you, I'm telling you what, wherever you go, it goes. Just like if you're cursed, you can, you, people, sometimes you have curses in their life. They think they got to leave town because they can't make it there. They think they'll be better off somewhere else. But no, wherever they go, they take the curse with them. Well, when you're blessed, wherever you go, you take the blessing with you. Glory to God, huh? Go everybody you go, the blessing goes. It follows you. You can't get rid of it. It stays upon you, huh? It stays upon you. Once I speak that blessing over you, folks, I'm telling you, it stays with you the rest of your life. Isaac blessed Jacob. <clears throat> Some people fussed about it. He said, I have blessed him and he shall be blessed. Nobody can get it away. Nobody can take that blessing away from you. Once it's upon you, it's upon you. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. All you have to do is grow your faith for it. And that's what we're doing. Make sure you call me if you did your offerings and donations yesterday. 
and make real sure you call me if you need anything. If you have any prayer requests, I get results, folks. Incredible results. And we're getting miracles over the phone. I mean absolute miracles. Somebody had a perforated colon, a ruptured colon, and the doctors didn't give him any hope. But he got a miracle. His son called me. And I spoke over him that he would live and not die. And he did. Through the power in the name of Jesus. And we give the power in the name of Jesus all the credit. And we give Jesus all the glory. And we glorify the Father. I want to be glorified through Jesus. Oh my goodness. And that's why we do it. Amen. While he was there, his uncle deceived him, lied to him, lowered his wages 10 times, gave him the wrong wife, but he was greatly blessed himself. His uncle became greatly blessed while Jacob was there because of the blessing upon Jacob. When you go to work for a company, that company is blessed because you're there. I mean, the people in our church, when they go when they go to work someplace, I tell them, I say, you might as well get used to it because the company you're going to is going to be blessed because you're there. Jacob's uncle was blessed when he showed up. Huh? I'm telling you, this is incredible. If you own a business... Hire blessed people. Find blessed people. Find somebody who has the blessing upon them and hire those people and you will be amazed at what happens to your company. Don't hire cursed people. Don't hire people who have struggled all their life with their finances because you're. if anything, you're going to go downhill. Hire blessed people. Always make sure the people, if, if they're not blessed, when they get there, you bless them. You should bless your employees every day. You should speak blessings over your employees every day. I speak blessings over our partners every single day. Every day I bless you. If you're a partner with this ministry, I am binding the devil in your life and speaking blessings over you every single day. Because I am determined you are going to live a blessed life. Jacob went there. And it came to pass, Genesis 30, 25, and 31. Now, I'm reading out of the book. This, as we get to these passages, I'm, I'm reading this out of the book. It came to pass when Rachel had born Joseph, that Jacob said unto his uncle, Send me away that I want to go back to my home. Give me my wives and my children for whom I have served you and let me go for my service now he is done. And Laban said unto him, I please, if I have found favor in your eyes, stay here for I have learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me because of you. His uncle knew it. Don't leave. I'm blessed because of you. And he said, Appoint me my, he said, tell me what you want. And he said, you know how I've served you and how your cattle was with me. For it was a little you had, you didn't have much when I got here. But now you have a lot. Now, here's what I want you to do. Don't give me any wages. But give me the deformed cattle. The spotted cattle. And the spotted sheeps. And the uncle said, Sure because not many are born spotted. But afterwards, they were all born spotted. All, he literally, over a period of six years, he went from nothing to being a billionaire because they, they had offspring like crazy and they were all spotted. Jacob literally got everything because he was blessed. Now, 
He's not depending on his uncle for his provision. He is solely depending on God. The minute, it tells us in Jeremiah chapter 17, when you depend on God for your provision, you're blessed. But if you depend on another person, you're not. Your finances are cursed if you depend on your job. Or preachers out there listening to me, if you're depending on your church. No, we don't depend on our church. We don't depend on people. We depend on God. We depend on the blessing to take care of us. Make sure you depend on God. And God will always see you through. But my God shall supply all your needs. Not people. God supplies them. Finally, Jacob told his uncle to stop paying him wages and keeping the cattle and the flocks. Instead of wages, he would keep the speckled and spotted animals for his pay. Now he was totally dependent on God and the blessing of Abraham to provide for him. In just a few years, he became very rich because nothing else matters but the blessing. Depend on God and depend on God's blessing to see you through and you will live a blessed life. Glory to God. Share this with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know to watch these videos. Tell everybody you know if they're sick and broke to please call Pastor Jim. Call Pastor Jim. If you're a partner with this ministry, you have access to me. You can call me anytime you want. And people, some people call me a lot depending on what they're going through. I am always here for you. Somebody has to answer the phone. I'm probably the only anointed person in the country who will answer the phone. I'm not the only anointed person, but I'm the only one who answers the phone. And I am always here for you. I am determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And your family also.